Shoreline Sailboats. We're here to help you with your rudder replacement on your sunfish. So we're going to show you how to take off an old rudder and replace it with a new style. Here's the old style rudder, which is pretty. It's brass. It's very heavy. And here's the new style, which is quick to release and works a lot better and all the kids want them. So here's the old style brass fitting on top of the sunfish. This one had some iron fittings in it, so it's a little hard to dig out. So over the years, sometimes they get screws get replaced with brass fittings when somebody paints it, like this one's been painted. Uh, so it was a little harder to get at. You had to, I tried digging out the screws with uh, needle nose vice grips and ended up using the drill and drilling out the screws so I could get this plate off. Uh, it was stuck to the top with the paint and also some caulk, so I had to use a putty knife to get underneath there. And here's the putty knife. Yeah, so I just kind of used a thin knife and got it off. What you see is the uh, at the bottom here, you have this other lower plate that you have to remove. Don't forget to take that one out. That's a screw hole that you should caulk. Okay. Here's the uh, the deck um, this deck cover uh, access port. It's five inches. It's uh, made by Sea Dog Line, and it's really nice because the top of it is a perfect template for drawing the circle that you want to cut into the deck. So just take the top off, flip it over. And what I did is I used a permanent marker, went around the outside of it, and then I had a, the, this, if I follow this line, the other part will drop right in. So all you have to do is just be straight. Um, one of my tools I used to use, and I didn't, and this one was this uh, cutout tool. The problem with this cutout tool is that you're going to run into some mahogany blocks inside. So the handheld jigsaw is the way to go on this project. So drill a hole and I started in one of the other holes and went around it with a jigsaw. You'll see why inside you've got mahogany blocks that you actually have to cut through to make this opening. So it's it's a little tough going. It's, uh, mahogany is pretty, pretty stout wood. Also you'll notice I taped off the deck with blue tape so I wouldn't scratch it with the jigsaw. The foot of the jigsaw could make a pretty bad mark. Get rid of all this mahogany. Okay, a lot of it's falling out and tear out any loose Oh, here's some foam, and I checked it with my thumbnail, and it was dry, which is nice because some of these sun sunfish can become waterlogged. And there's some debris in there. Make sure you just clear out the debris, pieces of mahogany. Then the back part had some mahogany still stuck into it, and I removed that with a screwdriver. It wasn't stuck on too bad. You could use a chisel, but it came out fairly easily. Now, just dry fitting the cover now to make sure it works. It looks like it's, the hole is perfect for it. All I have to do is drill the holes and insert some stainless steel screws and nuts in there. And dry fitting the gudgeon on the back. Uh, this one came off of a used sunfish. And so I made some backer plates out of aluminum that I had laying around. You can order a backer plate for it. Could you make it out of wood? Possibly you could make it out of wood. Um, it'd have to be pretty good at wood. Um, maybe a hard wood in there and you could uh, use wood screws to screw it into it. In this case, I'd like to have it metal on fiberglass so I made these um, small backer plates and drilled them, marked them starboard port just to make my life easier. And then you can see they line up with the holes and the gudgeon. I just drilled through it on the inside right made little marks and then drilled the holes. I'm gonna dry fit it right now to make sure that it fits. It looks like it's gonna be great that I can caulk around it on the outside. You can caulk the inside too if you want to to make sure it's waterproof. And here's the cover installed, it works great. As advertised, uh, this is a brand new system now. You've got uh, the gudgeon on there, and if you've got yourself a new style rudder head, you can uh, pop it right on there and, and you'll be good to go. Uh, you can order the parts, you can find an old used sunfish. 1972 was the last time they used the old style, so anything earlier than 72. And you've got uh, the new style on the back here. Nice job. Easy job to do on a weekend. Probably wouldn't take you a weekend. Here's another one I worked on a couple of days later. Same thing. We've got some used equipment on the back here, but the same thing. Had to remove it. Uh, let us know if you need help on this. You can email us at shorelinesailboats uh, at gmail.com. And uh, if you need any help, just let us know, and we're here to help you out. Okay? Thanks a lot.